Okay, we're good. Okay, good afternoon, guys. Coding something. And I've been coding something that is almost ready to go to production. But I remember, Anthony, aren't you supposed to make videos on YouTube? So here I am today, right now. This weekend, I want to challenge myself to completely finish coding this website. I don't want to write any more line of code for it. I want to bring you with me on this journey. But before that, let me show you what I've been working on. Okay, so you may or may not know that I'm working in crypto. And crypto right now is at its worst, to say the least. But this is not the first time it happens and it won't be the last. In markets, whether it's traditional finance or crypto, they all work in cycles. And it's actually when everything is at its lowest like that, that is a good time to build things. So one month ago, I was browsing job opportunities in crypto and I noticed that only few websites existed for this niche. And I know for a fact that it's really hard for company to find good candidates. And they are actually ready to spend a lot of money in that. So I decided to create my own job boards, but for the niche of cryptocurrencies. I then started to jam on some designs, I found something that is working great for everyone. I also found a name and bought the domain name straight away. I called it degen.work. Degen because this is how cryptocurrency people call themselves, the degenerates. And it makes total sense, right? With the amount of money they either lose or win. It's crazy. And dot work because this is the only thing you'll be able to do on this website, find work opportunities. I was so excited about coding this thing that it took me approximately two weeks to reach a very good point. L let me show you. You can connect your wallet, you can browse job opportunities, you can share them, and everything is optimized for a good SEO ranking. I'm using Next.js for the front end and back end, and also serverless instance of MongoDB to store the data. I'm also using Prisma to make my life easier. So there's only few things missing for this website before it goes to production. Uh, first is to design and code a page to post a job. This is maybe one of the biggest page to do and probably one of the most complicated. And I wanted to do a video about that. Secondly is to create a better photo, which is really optimized for SEO. And the third one is to make sure that you can actually reply to a job. Uh, because for now it's just like a fake button and I need to make sure that everything works fine. Okay, so my plan is actually to design the bit that is missing and then I will spend the rest of the weekend just coding. Okay, so it's 5.30 right now and I didn't do anything except filming this video. So I will do a quick break to the gym because I really need that. And then I will start with the designs and I will cut for the rest of the weekend. Let's do that. So I don't have any footage of me at the gym because I simply forgot to record any. After that, I decided to cook an easy, tasteless meal, simple pasta, pan fried eggs, and lettuce so I can feel healthy and brag to you about it. Okay, let's keep the cooking part. It's kind of boring, right? So after a whole day doing almost nothing, I finally found the strength to work and design this poster job page. For this design to be simple and quick, I wanted to reuse as much layouts and components from the main screen I already created. So I will just have to duplicate it and start from there. The idea is pretty simple. I want the form to be on the right hand side and the preview of the job post to be on the left. Then the other part is really a simple form. You'll have to enter the title, location, salary minimum and maximum, the actual content of the job post, and the details about the company itself. And no, this is not my face when I'm having a shit. This is my face when I'm designing something without much inspiration. To be fair, this is not the best design I could have come up with, but this is more even enough for me tomorrow. I will start from that and I will make it look good when I will be coding it. This is not the best way, but this is the way I'm going with tonight. Okay, so now I will be quickly coding the photo. I'm tired, but I know I can do it that quite fast. So let's do it now. So the idea with this photo is actually really simple. The site has a bunch of tags available that will be used by the user to filter the job list. I want to take those tags from the database and pre-generate links in the footer that will redirect toward the right page. This is actually pretty simple to do and it took me something like 15 minutes to complete, but it will have at the end a huge impact on the website SEO. Okay, so this is the end of day one for me. Uh, it didn't went as well as I thought it would. Uh, I wasn't productive at all. Uh, I even sometimes forgot to play record video when I needed to. So it's, <laughs> I mean, it's all my bad. But tomorrow is another day and I hope it will be a more productive one. Everything is kind of like laid down already for me to do great works. I have only one big thing to do. Uh, so now it's time to sleep. I'm tired and yeah, see you tomorrow. 
Okay, so welcome to day two of this challenge. So today I have a lot of codings to do. Uh, it would be about doing the create a new job post page. Um, I don't really want to sit at my desk today. Uh, so what I will do, I will create a quick setup to enjoy London as you uh, I will show you. So yeah, I will take those cushion of my couch there and I will put them over here so I can enjoy uh, London's view uh, while I'm seated just there. Let's do that. So now that I was comfortably installed on this not-so-natural DIY setup, I was able to start to code for quite a good amount of time, which is quite rare well for me. My attention span is in general somewhere around 20 minutes maximum. Anyway, I spent the first half of the afternoon focusing on the basics of the page. I started by cloning the layout of the main page. They share the same shape and I then coded all the components that were needed. I started by the placeholder of the job post. This one displays a little rectangular shape if the value isn't yet provided in the form. The next step was then to create the basic form inputs. They all share the same design whether it's a text, number or select input. I've coded so many of them in my career that it has now become a second nature, and I was able to go through those steps quite easily. I didn't really write the prettiest code ever, my goal was to finish that by the night, so I had no time to lose. When all of that was ready, I changed position and went on my standing desk. I'm not gonna lie, my bum was hurting so bad, I spent so much time on this floor. It wasn't my best idea, but it looks cool, huh? Everything for your eyes, guys. To get back to the coding, I then started to implement the logic of the form. I've used the React hook form to manage all of that cleanly. I quickly reached a point where everything was making sense. Validation was there, design of the inputs too. But most of the complicated part weren't done just yet, namely selecting tags and the company. Okay, small update in front of the camera. It's 7.40. Uh, I didn't, didn't move quite fast uh, as I hope I would, but uh, I'm almost done with the basic structure of the form and of the designs of the inputs as well. So now everything else will be just like replicating what I've been doing. So from now on, I will be moving quite fast, but I'm quite late and I'm quite sad because I didn't move as fast as I wanted to. So I will do what I'm doing every time I'm sad. I will eat, <laughs> I will eat a lot. So I just ordered pizzas for 9 p.m. I hope I will be able to finish the form since then. Let's check that. Yes, one hour 30 minutes before the pizza enters my stomach. There was absolutely no chance that I get to finish everything by then. But I have faith in me back then. My goal is to start with the tag selector. The goal is to let the user pick multiple tags in the list and make sure that this component can be accessible, meaning that it can be used fully with a keyboard. I base my code on a library called Headless UI, but it all the heavy lift for me. I basically just had to style it and add custom logic so it looks like a tag select. I honestly had to face few bugs and to do few funky stuff to reach a good result, but I'm honestly quite pleased with what I've done so far. Funnily enough, the pizza finally arrived. I almost didn't eat anything during the day, and you can honestly feel it with this first bite. Will you look at that? Dude, just chill. <laughs> I think the life expectancy of this pizza was something like two minutes. I mean, two minutes is long enough, right? Right. Anyway, now with a full stomach, I was ready to tackle the last beast. The company select component. This one is more complicated because it involves some API work, and some dynamic logic. This is actually what I'm coding right now. I decided to not follow the design because they were terrible, but instead based everything on the tag select component I created before. The idea is simple. While the user is typing a company name in the input, in the background we query the database to find the company. If the company already exists, the user can select it in the list. If not, we will add additional fields in the form that allows to create a new company and upload the logo. That's a lot, but it will be quite good in terms of user experience. And with the current stack I'm using, it will be actually quite fast to do. I made sure that the search was debounced to avoid to hammer the database with tons of requests. Once this logic was done, it was all about creating the business logic. At this point, I was honestly super tired, but I was almost there. I had to connect the click of the submit button to the actual API, so the job can be created and this form will be more or less completed. Thanks to React Hook Form, it was really quick to access my data and call the API with them. I then made sure to plug all that logic to my toss messages to give some feedback to the user on what's happening. And boom, in two days of unhealthy work, this form was completed. Honestly, I wasn't sure to reach this point. My brain was so freaking fried after this day of filming and coding. So here we are, this is the final result. 
When you enter the details, of course the preview is being made on the left hand side, which I found really cool to be honest. But when you're done, you then click on the submit button and your job is posted and visible to all. This is for now only available to me, but I will soon add a paywall so the user will have to pay in crypto to post a job. Make sure to subscribe to see that video. Okay, so we reached the end of the challenge. It's, it's 1 a.m. I'm so tired, but I'm happy because I got almost to the end of the challenge. Uh, the form is done. It's not perfect yet, right? Like the, fo the validation is not perfect. The design is not perfect. But this is only for me for now. Uh, this is more than enough for me to start this side project. And yeah, if you want to know more about what will happen to these projects, um, I will post updates on my newsletter. So the link is uh, in the description. If you like the video or if you like this format, please consider subscribing, consider liking the video. And yeah, I hope to see you on the next one. Hey, you watching me, please ring my mouse. You should watch this video where I connect.